At this point of time, we are really not considering outright closure of branches. What we are considering is the relocation of the branches. So with the same numbers, we should be able to improve our reach. Uh, as you know, in SBI, we are a legacy bank. As a result, you know, many of our branches are more concentrated in the older parts of cities and towns. Mm -hmm. Now, what we will try to do is to close down those branches, whether they are of SBI or of uh, the associates, which are uh, which are not as good as you know whatever else is available in the surroundings. So we will keep the better one. If it is, if it is, if uh, associate bank is better located and has a better uh, ambience, then probably that will remain, and the SBI branch could relocate, or it could be the other way around, that the SBI branch remains and the associate banks relocate, and we will try and relocate them into those parts of the cities and towns where we are uh, not there, or where we are very thinly spread. So the idea at this point is that we need to relocate a number of these places. Things that will close down, for instance, the treasuries will close down. Uh, the corporate accounts and the mid-corporate branches will also uh, close down because those can be Im immediately merged. But again, we hope to be able to use the licenses elsewhere. Okay. But there was some number doing the rounds that there would be about 30 to 40 percent. Uh, I don't know if it was now you're saying it's relocation, not closure. So, would the cons out of the consolidated number of branches, would such a large proportion need to be around relocated? around 1,800 uh, branches is what we expect. But that would be in a space of three years. Would be relocated. Yes. Okay. Uh, and how are you going to do the staff uh, adjustment? See, the staff adjustment first and foremost, we have given a VRS. Uh, to the people in the associate banks. Mm -hmm. Again, this is totally voluntary and it's been given because we were given to understand that there would still be people who are very senior and who may not be comfortable about uh, getting into a new organization or who may not like the idea of uh, moving. As you know, we are a pan-India bank, so to that extent, movement is much more in a bank like ours. Now, while the youngsters are quite open to it, and in fact, I know a lot of people are excited because sure. they can now come back into their home states, which would have been impossible if they had remained in these niche banks. So, for the older people, therefore, we have given a VRS. Uh, we have to see what will be the response to that. Very difficult at this point to estimate. In respect of the rest, we don't really expect that there would be too much of an overflow because we are attracting about 13,000 people per year, the group. Okay. Now, if around 13,000 go away and maybe another uh, three, 4,000 go away uh, on the VRS, then overall, I think we will be set within a period of 12 months. We won't need to do anything very much of rationalization. Uh, the only thing that might happen is this year we may not recruit. Okay. okay, so that recruitment may be put off till next year. How much do you recruit on a year? Uh, it depends, you know, we normally don't recruit every year, but then, you know, when we recruit, we do maybe once in two years. Uh, the probationary officers is rarely more than 2,000 people, but in respect of clerical staff, it can range from anything between 5,000 to even 11,000, 12,000. I think we did about 12,000 last year because we had really and truly come down. So that recruitment may or may not happen. That's depending on that. that's Would you do a VRS uh, at the parent bank level once there's a merged entity? At this point, no. At this point, we have no such intentions, but we will see as we go along.